Went off a cliff, he's back, he survived. Maybe he and my mom can start a return from the grave club. No, I'm serious, JR. Something isn't right. How did he survive? And what took him so long to come back? I don't know. Why don't you go ask him? I'm going to, but I... Right now, I have to find out the truth. I have to know what really happened. Please. Please, JR. Just help me find out what really happened when Ryan was gone. So much depends on this. Who cares what happened to Ryan after Evil Knievel off the cliff? He's back. Isn't that what matters? Yes, it should matter, but it doesn't explain what happened at the casino shed or what Lily saw. You want me to pretend like I know what you're talking no, about? I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but everything will make sense once we get the missing information on Ryan. Come on, JR. You promised me you would do anything for me if I asked you. Well, this is it. This is the big Kendall Beg Fest. Don't beg. You're much hotter when you demand. I'll give you a call when I find something out. Okay? okay. Yeah. Thank you. This is all your fault. You lost me. You have known all along about this surrogacy of Kendall's. And who could possibly believe that? Who could possibly believe that her own husband, in name only or not, would just stand back and watch her do something so reckless? Show me the person who could force Kendall into anything, and I'll gladly shake the hand. Okay, you're not going to look so smug when Ryan finds out that my daughter is carrying his baby. I'll protect Kendall. Believe me. Lily, got a minute? Not silly. You can't own time. It's intangible. No, I, I know. I, I mean, can I take a minute of your time so I can talk to you? Why didn't you just say that? I need you to tell me about the night you saw Ryan's ghost. When I came over to Greenlee's apartment with my boyfriend Sam, I told you I thought Ryan was alive in Greenlee and you said I was being ridiculous. Well, it was hard to understand back then how Ryan could be alive, but now it's clear you were telling the truth. Yeah. This is one of those times where Danny would say, duh. It's not a real word. It means... I, I know what like it means, it. Lily. Can you just please tell me what you remember about Ryan? Okay. Ryan looked like a real person. He didn't look like see-through, and he wasn't floating like you would expect a ghost to look like. And then Zach came and told me that Ryan was a ghost. But then Ryan came to my dad's house today and I asked him if he was alive this time and he said yes. So I don't really understand why Zach would tell me that Ryan was a ghost when obviously he was alive. You know why Zach would say something like that? I think I'm beginning to understand. Hey, Lily, you ready to bounce? Oh, he doesn't really mean bounce. It's another expression. He wants to leave. Are we through talking? Yes. Thank you, Lily. You've helped me make sense of things. Well, that's good. I'm glad someone could make some sense out of it. And I didn't even get to say my welcome home speech for Ryan. Kendall? Are you all right? Why wouldn't I be? I'm really sorry we argued. This has been such a wild day, to say the least. It's been a wonderful day. Mother, Greenlee, and Ryan are back together, and Ryan is alive. And I'm thrilled for Greenlee and Ryan. But it's you I'm really concerned about. No, don't be. I'm fine. I'm fine. The, the baby is fine. And Greenlee and I, we will handle telling Ryan. But in the meantime, I don't want anyone else to know that I'm carrying their baby, especially not Jack. Well, honey, Jack is going to find out sooner or later. Well, later would be better, Mother. Please, I can see the veins popping out in his forehead. It's obvious that he's freaking out about Ryan being back. Sweetheart, why don't you let me take you home? I'll do that. Zach, she really needs her mother now. Mother, please. I want to go with Zach. That was pretty insane, huh? I mean, listening to Ryan's eulogies and then there he was, standing there.
have been a shocker for you, too. It's unexpected for all of us. Let me fix you something to eat. Something wrong? You know damn well what's wrong. Go ahead, Zach. Play dumb. Pretend you have no idea what I'm talking about. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm assuming that you must be scared right now. Because you're carrying the child of a man who's presumed dead. A man who made it very clear he doesn't want children. A man who came very close to beating up his own wife when he found out that she was expecting. And I guess now you want to know what's going to happen to you if he finds out about you and your baby. I swear to you, he's not going to touch you. Because I'm going to protect you and that baby with my life. You'd really protect me from Ryan? You really have to ask that? Uh, hello. You're touching. You're touching my foot. Shh. That pressure points in the foot that connect to every part of the body. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know about reflexology. Oh. Much. Just lie back and relax. Okay. How's that? Hmm. Hmm. Is that hurt? Uh huh. That's it. Just let it go. I'll take care of you. Kettle's on. How do you take your tea? You lied to me, Zach. Over and over again. You knew that Ryan was alive all along. 